Hey you guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel and I'm super excited for today's video because we are going to be reviewing the new ColourPop Y2K collection. ColourPop recently added me to their PR list so if I get the new launches I will try to review them as much as possible and if you guys want me to review their collections let me know down in the comments below. But I did not get sent their full collection, I got sent one of their four or three i believe eyeshadow palettes i got sent one of their lip glosses i got sent their just a tint duo and i got sent one of their super shock shadows so if you guys are interested in hearing my thoughts and seeing the look that i create then just keep on watching and before that make sure you subscribe to my channel give this video a thumbs up and follow my instagram at satin silk skin for more makeup content and with that being said let's just jump into the video I also forgot to mention that they sent me a highlighter as well, but I'll be showing that a little bit later because we're first going to be starting off with the eyes. And this is the Digital Playground eyeshadow palette. This is their pressed powder palette. And I've never tried their pressed powder eyeshadows before, so I'm super excited to try them out. I've only tried their Super Shock shadows, and this is super pretty in pink. I matched my shirt to it, so yeah. We're gonna dive into these shadows. So I'm first gonna be going in with the shade Crib, which is like a super pretty hot pink. Picking my Morphe M573 brush and you can use my code GLAMFAM1825 to save money. And I'm just gonna take Crib, I'm gonna pack it into my crease. And act this is really pigmented already. And I really like this color. I like hot pink shadows. So I'm just going to build this up in to my crease. I really don't have direction for this. So yeah. And as you can see, it's blending really, really nicely. I am also just dipping back in when I want more pigment in certain areas. Like, I am really loving this. This is so pretty. So I'm just gonna keep building this up and it's building up really nice as well. So just build it up to your desired shade and your desired shape. And then we will move on to the next step. Getting very big Barbie vibes from this look already, like super hot, pink and cute, like I am obsessed. So now I'm going to go in with Love Warhol, which is this shade right here. Oof, this is almost worn off. I can hardly see. It is my Morphe M421 brush. It's just a flat brush that I used to pack on shadow so I'm gonna dip into this shade and it has a little bit of shimmer in it it's like those mattes that have a little bit of shimmer in it and I'm gonna pop this on my lid just I'm just gonna place it all over my lid and again this is super pigmented which is amazing i don't really know oh yeah i can't see the shimmer a little bit it looks it's a very subtle it's not like an in your face shimmer but yeah this looks so cute i'm so happy that this is super pigmented i'm really impressed with these shadows so we are going to go in with that fluffy Morphe brush again in the shade Crib and we're just gonna put that back in our crease and blend those two shades together a bit more so it doesn't look absolutely insane. And also I like to concentrate Crib on the outer corner of my eye to give it some depth and to make it blend more seamlessly into love warhol so i'm just going to blend into my crease 
Okay, so now that we have blended out all of the harsh edges, I'm going to go in with the shade from Paris, which is just this super sparkly pink shade right here, like a bubblegum pink. And I'm just gonna take it on my finger and I'm just going to place this on the center of my lid and that is stunning. Like, oh, that looks so beautiful on top of that shade we placed before, Love Warhol. And I'm just gonna build this up to the desired amount of pigment and shimmer I want. And I definitely think that going in with your finger, like instead of a brush when you're using shimmer is the best way to go, especially if you don't really care about a super precise application. I'm gonna go in with the shade 99, which is a lighter sparkly pinkish gold kind of shade. And again, I'm just gonna take it on the back of my finger and we're gonna place it more towards the inner portion of the eye just so it can be a little bit lighter and cute and give make your eyes look a little bit more bright and awake now I'm taking my Morphe M506 brush, which is just a little smaller blending brush than the one we've been using. And I'm going to go back in with the shade Crib. And we're going to smoke out our lower lash line with this pink. So I'm just taking it super close up to my waterline. And we are just going to pack it on and blend it out. Okay, so taking the same Morphe brush and going back in with From Paris, I'm going to dip into it and we're going to add this to our lower lash line as well, just because I think adding a hint of shimmer so the lower lash line is really cute. I'm just gonna pack this on. Now I'm taking the Super Shock Shadow in Cami Crush, and this is what it looks like. Super duochrome and beautiful. I'm gonna take this on the back of my finger, and I think that I'm going to put it in my inner corner, and I might put it on the very center of my lid, just so it won't my look won't look so one-dimensional because right now it kind of does so i'm gonna put it like right here just i love that that is so pretty that looks so pretty i'm obsessed with that like yes i'm just gonna build it up to how i want it to be and then We will move on to the next step. Now I'm done with the eyeshadow, so I just wanna give you guys my thoughts really quick. I love them. I already knew I was gonna love the Super Shock Shadow because like, for the most part, their Super Shock Shadows perform the same. They're super, super sparkly. They feel almost wet. Like, I can't even describe how they feel. Like, you you should really try them if you love an intense, sparkly shadow. And I've never tried their pressed powder eyeshadow before, but I'm in super impressed with how they performed the mattes blended amazing. And they were patchy. They're super pigmented. And the shimmers went on very nicely and packed a good amount of sparkle which i love so if you guys were interested in that i had the digital playground one i can't speak for the rest of them because i haven't tried it but that one is amazing i love it so now i'm going to go in with their face gems that they sent over in the collection i believe these are also for sale and i am going to go in with the heart and we're gonna put it directly underneath our eye. I'm just gonna take some lash glue and put place it where I want my gem to be stuck. And I want it in the center of my eye. And then you're gonna want it to get 
tacky because if you try to place it too fast then it's not gonna stick now i'm just taking my tweezers and i'm gonna place it and then that is how it looks i just put on some mascara i don't really want lashes with this look because i think it'll take away from the shadow but now we're going to move on to the rest of the products in the collection and next up is the you got mail super shock highlighter and the packaging first of all is adorable and then this is what it looks like it is super pink and honestly i'm kind of scared scared not gonna lie I, I don't know how it's gonna look but I'm just gonna take this on the back of a brush and I'm gonna place it on the high points of my cheek and see how it looks so oh it's actually it's not as pink as I was expecting it to be I was expecting it to be like super super pink but it's actually not it's just like a little tiny bit of like pink reflex i don't even know if you can tell on camera but let me try i'm gonna try putting it on with my finger because honestly for me i can't really it's not really going on that well with the brush and feeling it it feels kind of wet like like it should be applied with a finger so this is how it looks and yeah oh my gosh so uh, if you want to really be able to see the pink in this highlight definitely apply it with your finger i should have known because the super shock products tend to perform better with a finger so that stands true for this highlight as well this is it's still really pretty though it's not too pink for me like i was scared when I, looking at it in the pan it looks like it was gonna be like extremely extremely pink almost like blush topper but it's actually complementing this look like really well and it's super cute next up we are going to be moving on to the lips and this is the just a tint lip duo and the shades are chubby bunny and butterfly kisses so i'm going to open it up and these are how they look this is the shade butterfly kisses and this is the shade chubby bunny and I really don't know what shade I want to go in with. <laughs> I just got that on my nose. I think I'm going to go in with the shade um, Chubby Bunny. And it looks like this. Honestly, lip crayons were one of the first makeup products I ever had. So. But I'm just going to put this on. Oh. This is giving a very... The fact that I used to wear a lipstick this shade when I was really young is like, this is just giving me memories. This is good. It's super easy to apply. It doesn't really, I don't know what it smells like. It doesn't have a sweet scent. What is that? What is that scent? I really don't know what this smells like, you guys. It's not a sweet scent though at all. But this is also giving a nice sheen to the lips. And it's super easy to apply. This would be something good to like throw in your purse. And it also feels comfortable on the lips, which is a plus. No idea what these smell like. Like I just keep smelling my lips. I, it doesn't smell bad. Like at first I was like, what is that? I don't know what it smells like though. But finally, for the last product, we're gonna be going in with their So Juicy Lip Gloss. This is a plumping gloss. It's in the shade I'm Me, and these remind me of the Lancome Juicy Tubes. When I was younger, I always wanted them, but they're expensive, so I never got them. But this is what that's giving me. Like, this definitely gives Y2K vibes. So I'm just gonna, oh, it smells minty. Oh my gosh, you guys, 
I had a lip gloss that literally that literally looked like this and it smelled exactly like this like when I was younger and I kept it for so long because I loved it that much I think I got it from Bath and Body Works like they still sell it but oh my gosh I'm gonna put it on now Ooh. So that just gave a slight tint to the lips. I love when lip glosses have a mint smell and taste because then it like makes your breath smell like mint, which is a plus. And I really actually like this. It's not sticky as you can tell. It feels really comfortable on the lips and it gave a really pretty shine. So yeah, that was all of the products for the collection. And overall, I honestly liked everything. There's nothing bad I can say honestly about any part of the collection. Maybe the highlight might not be for some of you, but once I figured out that it's better to apply it with your fingers, that definitely helped. Like it is a very intense highlight and it's super pretty. Honestly, if you've never tried ColourPop's shadows, the pressed shadows or the super shock shadows definitely give them a try they're both amazing this was my first time trying their press shadows and i'm extremely impressed with how well they performed and the super shock shadows for me are always a hit which they're just amazing if you love a good shimmer definitely check out the super shock shadows and so they have these super cute butterfly clips i don't know if they're selling them they're super pretty when i opened the package and i saw that i was like oh my god they're so cute but so really liked the lip products, the lip crayons. Those applied really nicely. They'd be something good for every day, like an everyday lip product because they go on easily and they're not really gonna smear or anything when you're applying them because they are super sharp. Like it's almost like it's a lip liner and a lip stick in one. And then this So Juicy gloss is really good i really like it i love the packaging and i love that it's mint and it is tingling my lips a little bit but it's not anything that is like too crazy that i'm like i need to rub this off my lips right now so yeah overall i really recommend the y2k collection if you were curious about it i can only speak for the digital playground palette like overall i can only speak for the products that i physically had to use the products that i did have from the collection were amazing so yeah if you were interested in it definitely go try to get your hands on it and yeah you guys i will see you in next wednesday's video hopefully i'm about to start school again so fingers crossed that i stay consistent um, we're, we're gonna try but yeah make sure you guys subscribe to my youtube channel to see more videos give this video a thumbs up leave a comment down below telling me which product you would want to try from this collection and also make sure you follow my instagram at side silk skin for more makeup content and i will see you guys next week bye guys